Christ, it's Eddie the Magic Monk. Eddie the Magic Monk. Eddie the Magic Monk. Eddie the Magic Monk. Hey guys, it's Eddie the Magic Monk. Welcome to another After Effects tutorial. Last lesson, we talked about how to scale up an object from the side. So you can see here that this rectangle goes from a straight line all the way to a rectangle. So if you don't know how to set this up, feel free to have a look at my previous video on this. But now I want to talk about how to add some acceleration to this process. So you can see we have two keyframes. Okay, we have a starting keyframe and an end keyframe. And if you move your playhead, right, drag it across here, you can see this number changing. Okay, at the start, the X scale is 0% and it goes gradually up to 100%. Okay, so that's 0, 9, 25, and so on. 84, 100. Okay, so... If I want to see a graph of that, what I can do is I can simply highlight, okay, just by dragging your mouse across these two dots, go to graph editor. And if you don't see something like this, click on choose graph type and make sure you choose edit value graph. Okay, so let me explain this red line. Okay, so what this red line is, is basically a graph. Okay, I'm just going to zoom in a bit so you can see it. So it's saying this graph, basically the x-axis is the time. Okay, so it's going from 0 to 1 second. Okay, 0 to 1 second. And it's saying, the red line is saying that vertically where this red line is, is the percentage. So it goes from zero, increases to 50%. So at this point it's 50%. So if you drag the timeline to about here, you can see that this number is 50% because that's how high the red line is. And if you drag it over here, where's the red line? The red line is about 70, all right? And it's about 70 all the way up to 100. So that is the value of this number plotted against the time. So you can think of it as distance over time, right? In a physics context, if you guys remember distance over time, distance is the y-axis, time is the x-axis. Now, if I change this to a speed graph, you can see that the red line is straight. Okay, why is it straight now? Because the speed is not changing. It's increasing at a constant speed. So if I click play, from the start to the end, the rectangle is increasing at the same speed. What is the speed? 93.75% per second. So over this duration of one second, it increased by 93 0.75%. So if I explain this math to you in a sort of a clearer way, if my animation stopped at one second and it went from 0 to 100, the speed would be 100% per second. Okay, so that is the speed. The speed is constant the whole time. That's why you can see a gradual, gradual increase. Okay, it's moving but it's not moving faster or slower it's not slowing down it's not speeding up it's just moving at the same speed so that's a bit boring okay let's turn off the graph now and what i'm going to do now is i'm going to highlight these two dots and what you're going to do now is on your keyboard you're going to press f9 on the keyboard as soon as you press f9 Okay, you've added some change in speed. Change in speed equals acceleration. So if I now turn on the graph, make sure that you are viewing the speed graph again. You can see that the red line is the speed and it's different. Okay, originally the speed is very slow, 5% per second. 
the speed increases to moving very fast and then it gets slow again. So what this means is the object will move fast, slow down. Sorry, it'll move slow fast and then slow down. So it'll gradually increase the speed and then gradually, gradually increase the speed, slow down. Okay, so let's try that. Click, press the space bar. Okay, so that's what happened. It'll speed up and then slow down. Okay, so the middle bit is where it's changing the quickest and that's signified by this red line. Okay, middle bit is changing the quickest, then it slows down. Now, what I'm gonna do and what a lot of people do is it will make it speed up very quickly, a lot quicker. Okay, it'll, they want to make it speed up a lot quicker and then slow down uh, at the end. So what that means is, I'm going to click on um, this dot here. And you can see a uh, yellow handle. I'm going to drag this to the left. Okay, and what this does is you can see a sharp increase in speed all the way to 384% per second. So that's how fast it is going to be increasing at this point. And then the speed will drop off gradually to nothing. Okay, so let's see the difference now. If I press space, okay, it'll very quickly speed up and then slow down gradually at the end. Now there is also a green line. The green line you can see is horizontal and that is because vertically it's not changing. Okay, vertically it's not changing at all. If I got rid of the lock and I want the vertical value, okay, for the scaling to change as well, then the green will be also a curve. But we're not doing that. So that's why I just thought I'd explain why there are two handles, two dots, because the green line is for the vertical speed, whereas the red line is the horizontal speed. All right, so that explains how to add acceleration to an animation in After Effects. Thanks for watching, guys. See you next time. Thanks for watching, guys. See you next time.